target date for reopening casinos is June 4th, according to Governor Steve Sislak's office. Now, the governor is expected to hold a news conference Tuesday to discuss phase two of reopening. Sislak did not hold a press conference this week. Yeah, Kirsten, let's put a pin in that theory for now. I've got an asterisk the size of MGM Grand to put next to that statement. Is the ace of Vegas, the ace of Vegas. Hey there, my spinners and sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. So, tomorrow, Governor Steve Sisolak is supposed to reevaluate the situation in Las Vegas, Nevada, and see if it's worth moving forward on the reopening of the Las Vegas economy. And when we say that, we usually mean Las Vegas casinos. During a meeting with the Chamber of Commerce, he had mentioned that he was targeting a date of June 4th for gaming establishments to start reopening, which is great news for tourists. That said, based on the current Las Vegas reopening plans we've been getting as well as CDC and Gaming Control Board guidelines, Las Vegas will absolutely not look the same as when we left it. Okay, it won't look that bad, but there will be changes. In order to prepare you for the things that you may or may not expect, here are the top 11 things that you might not get to do when Vegas returns. Why top 11? Because as you know, I like to go even further beyond. So let's take a step back and be realistic. Here are the top 11 things that you won't see in Las Vegas when you return. Number 11. Adult Entertainment Venues Hey, I didn't say this was going to be all about casinos. And this is a big part of the Las Vegas culture. Exotic dancing is quite the staple of Las Vegas entertainment. And it was one of the businesses that refused to close down for quite some time during the first wave of what happened. And, unlike certain performances like burlesque, cirque shows, and movies, this is one profession that gets up close and personal, meaning there's no social distancing on a job that requires you to sit on your patron's lap. Not much else to say about this one. Let's pull dance on past the number 11 spot and check out number 10. Number 10. Gyms. Well, this one isn't really a big deal for me. I need rest days, and I usually plan Vegas as part of a rest day. But some folks won't like the inability to get their gym time on, which is probably for the best. You think that gentlemen's clubs get sweaty with just the dancers doing a lap? Try the entire establishment getting sweaty. It's not terribly mask-friendly either. Breathing is essential in all forms of exercise, and you don't want any restrictions if you can avoid them. Also, hotel gyms are notoriously small and don't have a lot of attendance. The cleaning would have to be constant and it would make the experience all the worst. I think it's a good thing to hold off on while you're hanging out there in Vegas. Number 9. Concerts. Okay, let's diversify a little bit. Concerts are going to be scarce, if they happen at all. When Las Vegas returns, that is. Big arenas? Packed tightly with no place to sit nevertheless distance oneself from other patrons. And to make matters worse, most Las Vegas entertainers like to make concerts interactive, so pulling people up on stage is just a little too much to consider right now. As fun as concerts and music festivals are, they're gonna have to go for the June 4th reopening, crescendoing into the number 9 spot on our list. Number 8. Smoking. Okay, this one might be a little controversial, even more so than the adult entertainment venues somehow. Casinos are some of the last places you can smoke in the entire world if you want to smoke a cigarette or a cigar indoors. It's not news that smoking is bad for your health, but smoking is a big part of the Las Vegas culture and gambling culture in general. The fight has been raging on in recent years for smoke-free casinos in Las Vegas, but it's so ingrained in Vice City, it's hard to get rid of. That said, however, the number of smokers in the US has dropped significantly in recent years. So between the lack of smokers in general and the desire to keep lungs healthy to combat COVID, don't be surprised if you see a non-smoking sign up next time you hit a casino. Number 7. Stage Shows this is independent of Cirque du Soleil being in trouble, though they are dangerously close to bankruptcy. A story for another time. That aside, don't expect the Las Vegas show to be back anytime soon. While some properties like the Wynn have implied a reduced show schedule in their clean plan, 
Others, like MGM Resorts International, have canceled all their shows for the entire month of June. Shows could possibly return with specialized seating policies and reduce ticket sales, but I can only imagine that will result in a disappointed showgoer or an overpriced show that won't sell as well. Number 6. Conventions Alright, let's make this one quick. The convention center business in Las Vegas was a pretty big thing for them in the 2010s. Most every hotel has convention space in some capacity or another. Convention travel was about 15% of Las Vegas traffic in 2019. But we won't see that. With so many conventions cancelled and the conventioners holding meetings on Zoom or WebEx, expect those convention centers to be closed. They're not going to be gathering in groups, but conventions can gather on the number 6 spot on our list. Number 5. Buffets. I've already lamented this in a previous video that I did last week, but here goes one more time. Don't grab any buffet comps for the foreseeable future. Las Vegas buffets likely won't be opening up anytime soon. And while I do doubt that they're gone forever, or alternatively that they won't turn into something better, there will be no self-service meal options for hotel guests. Most hotel clean plans are advising against it, so if you want a Las Vegas buffet fix, you're going to have to cook one up yourself for quite some time. Serving up the fifth thing in Vegas that we're definitely going to miss. Number 4. Poker tournaments. When a high level event like the World Series of Poker gets cancelled, it doesn't go unnoticed. Poker tournaments are a huge draw in Las Vegas, and they can be a big money maker for the few involved in the process. Caesars announced on their website that the World Series of Poker was rescheduled to a later, undisclosed date until they can figure out accommodations and safety protocols. I question the efficacy of holding the tournament online, and suspect that they'll put the tournament on hiatus until they can come up with a way to hold it in person. Until then, pull up a chair and deal me in for the number 4 spot on this list. Number 3. Big Casino Crowds the big, bombastic craps games are a thing of the past, at least for now. Social distancing in casinos means that we won't be able to experience what Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker did at the Red Dragon in Rush Hour 2. No, instead of fighting off triad bosses, we'll be fighting off infection by staying away from our partners at the table and not high-fiving them. But not just in craps. Slot machines will be turned off in between players, and even card tables will have sneeze guards and reduced seating. Security will be around to move along a non-gamers in the casinos when crowds start to gather, making it the third place thing to miss on this list. Number 2. Las Vegas Pools Vegas pools have always had a questionable set of safety standards. Rehab pool at the Hard Rock? Yeah, I rest my case. No pool parties here, big social distancing, and with 50% less capacity in the hotels, I'd be impressed if the cabanas even opened, nevertheless had full food or drink service. The experience probably wouldn't be the same anyway, so let's swim up to the runner-up spot. Number 1. Nightclubs One of the biggest, if not the biggest hit to the Las Vegas casino machine will be the lack of nightclubs. Nightclubs, which the governor has mentioned will absolutely be last in reopening the economy, have really kind of done this to themselves. Massive overhead won't help the social distancing nightmare survive the quiet days, and the fact that they are already considered to be rather expensive by some vacationers means that if they did reopen, the pool of visitors that would visit with them would be considerably smaller meaning there's absolutely no chance of a Las Vegas nightclub opening up the next time you visit Las Vegas. And that's about all the time we have for today's video, My Spinners and Sharks. If you enjoyed today's content and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. If the governor does decide that Las Vegas hotels and casinos are allowed to reopen on June 4th, will you be among the first to visit? or will you wait up until the next wave? Either way, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spinning you guys.